Hey, what's happening guys? Pages here and this video is for new porters who are porting MediaTek devices. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to port a, port a fully buggerless lollipop based on of same chipset for your MediaTek devices. So here are some requirements you need. You need a store ROM flashable and you need your port ROM also flashable. If you have uh, SP flashable you, you, or your smartphone tool, you have to change it. So here are some important notices. Before making a zip file, you have to change the LCD density and change the mount points that you get from the stock ROM. So let's get started. So here we go. So what you're gonna need is you have to make a first you have to make a folder where you can place your both stock room and your base room. So I'm making a folder here. this is my base room and this is my program of MT65 A2 chipset and code is also of same chipset. So now you have to extract them on the same folder. This will take some time depending on your uh, uh, processor or even the speed. So we have to wait. As you see the processor is start beginning. So here we go. Now we have to extract my port from also or your port from. It will also take some time as same as your base from. So here is done. After extracting the port room, you have find this files and if you, if you, you also find these files on your base room too. So for uh, simplicity, I am going to make two windows of one of base room and uh, second of a uh, port room. So here is my base room window and now I am going to make a port room window also so here is my port room port window so first we gonna step is go to your port room and delete and let me adjust this now it's looking good so the first step we gonna do is Go to your port room and select low meta and low of port room and delete it. Boot, I'm sorry, meta and boot. So we are going to delete them and copy the meta and boot of your base home to the port room. So here I'm going to do this. Let's copy it. Copy and paste it here. So this is the step one. So our next step is open <coughs> open the system folder and uh, you have to open your bin folder. And find PQ file and find void file. Then copy them and replace with your port system bin there. Go to system, then go to bin and paste it here. And you have to select replace the files in the destination so after placing it go back to your stock room and next step is we gonna do is now we can go to system port etc folder and uh, you have to delete firmware Bluetooth and uh, Wi-Fi delete them and go to your stock system and copy that folders in your port room and replace the files in the destination you always have to replace the files in the destination you don't uh, you don't have to uh, override or something so here we go 
so and the next step is going to is now open the etc folder of uh, port rom i'm sorry lib folder and lib you have to find the eagle and hw delete the, this folder also after deleting this folder you have to do go back to your uh, uh, stock room and uh, stock room system uh, lib and delete the sorry copy the egl folder and hw folder and replace it with port folder Here is the folders EGL and HW and you have to copy and paste it in the port system lib. So here we go now. You have to go back to your stock room of system lib and uh, you have to select some files of uh, for audio that you will get loud or best audio uh, as you have your stock room if you don't want any audio issues you have to select all the lib audio files from stock room and replace it with your port, uh, port room in the system lib and here's my all files and copy them and replace it here place it with lib audio file of Room. So just right click and uh, replace it like this. So I have to replace the file in the destination every time. So as you know, we get all the files of lib audio from stock to port. So now we are sure that we do not get any audio errors or the loudspeaker mode errors or something like you never get the sound on the speakers or any headphones errors. So Here's we fuck fix the audio errors. So now go back to your empty system file and you have to now select some files. So you are going to first search. You have to find lib cam malico and you have to replace it from the port system lib. So here's a copy this file go to the lib folder of the port room and paste it it is every time next file we wanna find is again lib camdrv.so now again copy it and and replace it there are approx 7 files you have to copy and replace from stock to port and next file is lib cam this is lib camera custom so you have to find this file and you have to just replace it so you will not get any camera errors while you facing the errors like not connect to camera you can replace this file Maybe it works. Now you have to go to lib framework and replace it here. Now again you have to find the file. Again lib. Now this time sensor service. And just copy and paste. You can do also with the ES5 so you don't have a PC that's not a big issue just do it like I am doing you, you can use the ES5 Explorer 2 you have to just simple copy and paste or coding robe is not a big issue or nothing is gonna difficult about it you have to just copy files from the stock room and replace in your program so you don't have to worry if you're facing any bugs I will post on my article to how to solve bugs or you can google it there are a lot of sites which we are providing you that to find bugs so here now we have to 
like the lib uh, codex cdrv dot so now it is then now replace it with so this is the uh, same base coding but if you want to port a cross home a uh, cross port like you have a 6582 phone or you have a rom of 6572 or 92 you have to make it your 6582 by on by using cross porting method that is very not so difficult but it's extreme method for a new user so you don't have to go far i'm also giving you the tutorial of cross porting on next week now you have to find this key la key key layout of uh, from user folder of a stock room to to copy the hardware hardware substitution like jenny.kl have a uh, your hardware keys especially now you have to place it again same folder generic.kl and there is one one more thing unlike generic.kl we have also another name you have to delete the vendor folder of system but if you don't delete that's not a big error but if you if you facing the accessibility errors that it is coming from the vendor folder you can also do it without deleting it it's not a big issue so now the last thing you have to open your build prop of port uh, rom and just change what is the name you want to give it like you have to find you can change the brand name you can change the model name you can change the device of your name name of the device you can change the language you can change the version you can enable hardware keys if uh, sorry enable software keys you can also change the usb mode you can the thing you want to need is you have to find the language and change it to en means english and find the region you have to select us because if you, if you write hindi you have region is india depend so this is the last step of coding room now just save it by control plus s you can also change your model name like microvex by your name you can change the the product name like by your name you can change the device and whatever you want you can add your name here there everywhere depend now you have to save it and deliver close the file of your uh, system room now go back to port room and select them all and make it zip so as i feel uh, i'm not telling you to how to change the mount points and i skip this in folder you can find the article about that You, but you have to change this the mount points that is most important you can find it on the meta in android google update a script open the port room update a script and as well as the stock room port script and copy the mount points like mmklp54 depend on your uh, written on your stock room and do as it is on your port room update a script and do not change any bit of it because it will give you a boot logo or boot loop or uh, you can your you can break your handset so do not try to change update script because in update script they are all writing how these files are flashing or all the files are read by the recovery so this is the last one you have to make it safe and now